This is what happens when rapid urbanization goes terribly wrong. Jakarta, the capital of Indonesia, is sinking. Environmental experts warn that one third of it could be submerged by 2050. Back in 1981, this area was land, but it was muddy land. It could be flooded during high tide, but just a little. Over the years, the water level is slowly becoming higher. The city of 10 million people has this problem because it's dependent on groundwater. When groundwater is pumped out, the land surface sinks. It's dropping up to 25 centimeters per year in the northern part of the city, according to environmental experts. And it's having a devastating impact on the people who live here. Now why has the water level become higher than my home and I am now below water level? Maybe it's because the seawater is eating up the soil little by little. That's what I know. But luckily, we now have that seawall. The seawall was built along the northern side of the city to battle the tide. Today, I'm not so nervous about the flooding. In the past, when the floods came, I used to tremble. I nearly drowned back in 2007. All my belongings were swept away and I had to start over again. But there's still a lot to be nervous about. Seawater is seeping through cracks in the seawall. This building used to be a mosque, and more buildings are being swallowed up. President Yoko Widodo says he wants to build an even bigger seawall. We have to save Jakarta. We have actually already planned to create a giant seawall in the north of Jakarta. That's what will save Jakarta from seawater from the north. Many of the buildings in northern Jakarta are derelict and businesses are struggling. The new mega project is expected to cost $42 billion. But sea levels are still rising due to global heating and no measures have been taken to halt groundwater extraction. So studies show the new seawall will provide only a temporary solution in this city with a very uncertain future. Rahul Radhakrishnan, TR2 World.